Hey guys. We are back and we have a little video of our annex that we've just put up. So for those of you with the Easy Trail Parks range, um, there is an Easy Light Annex option which we went with. Um, we had no idea what we were getting, the dealer didn't even have one so we bought it sight unseen. Um, the Easy Light Annex was a little bit cheaper um, but it also packed down smaller which yeah. is really big. That's probably the main reason we chose to go with the Easy Light Annex. So had a few questions about how to uh, put it up and Jade's the pro, she's really good <laughs> at it so made a quick little vid for you guys so yeah. enjoy this one. I hope it helps you out. So yeah. this is the Easy Light Annex for the Easy Trail Parks. I absolutely love this annex. I can put it together all by myself if I need to. It's definitely handier when there's two of you to do it. Um, there's three main walls and the draft skirt. It came with a heavy duty floor too, but it was so heavy that we, you know, safe weight, we leave that at home and we just use our mesh flooring that we've always used for camping. Um, I love it. Let me show you how we put it together. Let's go. All right, so these are all the parts that we use to put together our annex. We keep all of the side walls and the draft skirt in this little canvas bag. Keeps it all together and really easy. Um, in this bag here, this holds the anti-flap. And this little bag here just has a few holes in it, which keeps the front side wall there up nice and high. So yeah, let's do it. So step one is putting the anti-flap onto the awning. This comes in four pieces, so I'll pull them out of the bag. And there's two pieces on each side. They only fit one way each side, so pretty much you'll get it wrong the first time every time and then you know. Both slide together. And the secret is really just to make sure you line up the curved edges so these curved edges are both the same and that helps to know which side you put on obviously the levers are going to go to the outside of the caravan this little bit hooks into underneath the awning and this bit plops into the outside so because these levers are on this side it's going to be on this side of the caravan so we'll come over here so this end has to go in first to your caravan and there's a little lip a little cut out here that slides up into there so pick it up line it up with the edge of your awning it's in this pushes in and on the awning here there's a little bit of tubing Okay, so now that we've got this whole bar system in place, we need to just take off the lid bit here because this helps lock the canvas into the awning and stop the flapping. So it's really, really important for this bit that you do have it lined up with the edge of the canvas. And a step ladder if you're short or a milk crate helps too. Just twist these to hold it into place. Awesome, do the other side. All right, so side two, just make sure at the top you line up this little split. So this end is spring loaded, so push it in hard and that helps you slide it in to here. Okay, now same as the other side, we just take off these little top bits and lock the canvas into place. lock into place here, slide it in, twist the knobs and that's the anti-flap installed. The next bit of this is a spring-loaded centre pole that goes in just to add a little bit more tension onto the anti-flap too. Same thing, it's got this little lip and put in together. There's underneath the awning here, there's a little place where the pole hooks into place. So line him up with that under the lip, load up the spring and slide him into place. There we go. All right, that's the center pole done. Now time to add on the walls of the annex. 
All right, so the next part is to pull out all your pieces and identify which piece goes where. And the more you do this, the easier it is. So the first piece that I like to put on is the draft skirt and that goes along the caravan and that just stops breeze coming from under the caravan and keeping your annex nice and warm. I'm gonna call my little assistant in to help me. I lie this out flat and it all just stud presses on. And so it's so easy to do. It lines up with stud presses along the caravan. So I'll we'll pull this out. All right, and we start at the front of the caravan and we just work our way down. All right, last one. Okay, so that's the draft skirt in place and now we're gonna do the walls. I like to do this wall first. It's the smallest wall. So now I'm just gonna be looking for that one. Okay, so each of the anti-flaps have channels that run up the inside where you connect the walls to. This part can be a little bit tricky to get started. So if there's two hands on deck, definitely use them, but let me see how I go by myself today. Getting it started is definitely the hardest part. It helps if you move the awning leg to the side. And then once you've got it in and started, you just feed it through. Push. Nice and close. Once you've got your wall in, this connects the annex to the caravan through a little sail track. The best way to remember is that it needs to line up with this bit here. So as long as your Velcro is both going the same way, you're doing the right thing. Even if you do it the wrong way, though, it's so easy to switch around. There we go. Okay, so you pull that last little bit through and just connect it to the Velcro. Okay, first wall done. Wall number two, that's the longest wall, the biggest wall, so let's go find that. There's a track here. All right, definitely helps to keep the awning legs lower for this, unless you're really, really tall and we put them up higher later otherwise we're reaching too high so slide it in and pull them along all right once that's all the way through we come and velcro these two walls together All right, final wall. So this side is the same as the first side we did. The anti-flap has the track in there, so we just have to feed it through. All right, fed it through. Had a little help from my assistants with that one and can confirm it is definitely easier with two people. So if you can get two people to do it, one to feed it and one to pull it, it definitely makes it quicker. We're just going to add our little bits to the sail track and velcro it all together. So this part of the annex comes in two pieces because it comes out to cover up the fridge slot. So this little piece goes up the top here. And then you slide the next piece from the bottom. you velcro it all together okay so this side's looking a bit floppy and that's because we have some tent poles to put in here to make it stand up so I'm going to get my little assistant to help me with this one. All right, a couple more steps to go. We're just going to raise the legs of the awning to bring it up to a good height. Like that. Put that into place. All right, so it's the last two poles to go into position. There's a small one and a taller one. The small one goes into the middle hole. The tall one goes back to the end next to the caravan. I'm at, um, they have guy ropes to hold them into place. I'll peg them in outside, but I'm gonna get my two little assistants to hold these in place for me. So this pole goes hard up against the caravan. 
that one goes there and then we get my two ropes. So I'm just going to loop the guy ropes over. Number one. So that's pretty much it. The last little bit is just to tweak the Velcro so it's all nicely into place and to peg it down. All right, so there it is. There's our NX fully set up. That didn't take too long. Super easy to do. Um, we absolutely love the privacy that it gives us in the caravan. We can configure it in multiple ways. One of my favorites is just with the back wall and the side wall that gives us heaps of privacy. Um, yeah, so I hope you found that little video helpful. See you next time.